It affects all of us, and there is no end in sight. San Diego's homeless population is the fourth largest in the country. And this afternoon, the city council dedicated an entire council meeting to the issue. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is live outside Chambers with the progress that's been made and why some say it's not enough. Rachel? Kimberly, that meeting just ended. You can see the council chambers is now dark, but the council heard from various agencies across the city and the county. Uh, they all shared different presentations about what they say has been working and what's not working. And then cons consensus seems to be that we've made a lot of improvements, but there is still a long way to go in getting the roughly 9,000 chronically homeless off the street. Pantoja Park downtown is the oldest park in the city. It's a popular spot for dog walkers, but Sarah Alexander says at night it is a haven for the homeless. It's scary, you know. We don't like to come out after dark into the, our park to walk our dogs. Alexander says increased enforcement isn't working. They clear them out and then they come back again. Those concerns, the focus of a city council meeting dedicated strictly to homelessness. In the last several months, the city has added three new bridge shelters, storage facilities for the homeless to put their belongings, and a housing navigation center to make it easier to get through the system. But a lack of housing remains one of the biggest challenges. The county has put up some properties and uh, developers are trying to provide affordable housing. There is a, a will to provide that housing, it just takes time. Gordon Walker heads the county's regional task force on the homeless, created less than a year ago. He was brought in after drastically reducing homelessness in Utah. Walker says San Diego is making progress. Political will has come together, uh, whereas maybe a year ago or two years ago, it wasn't quite as strong to do something. There is no overarching plan. Homeless advocate Michael McConnell says he still hasn't heard any long-term solutions. We need to in quit investing so much in band-aids and start in investing in the real solutions, rental assistance. Certainly the brick and mortar affordable and permanent supportive housing is a must. It's the biggest gap in our system. And many do agree with that. Those three bridge shelters are providing temporary housing for 324 people every night. Affordable housing will be the topic of a meeting in July. Reporting live outside Council Chambers, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. A critical topic for all of us. Thank you, Rachel.